A team of MIT scientists announced the newest breakthrough in solar energy this week. They presented their findings to the American Chemical Society. ACS says this new green technology mimics well, the original green. Scientists today claimed one of the milestones in the drive for sustainable energy, development of the first practical artificial leaf. They described an advanced solar cell the size of a poker card that mimics the process called photosynthesis that green plants use to convert sunlight and water into energy. The artificial leaf works by using sunlight to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Those elements can then be recombined to produce electricity, with water as the only byproduct. While the idea isn't new, Tree Hugger explains this is the first time the model can be mass produced. The new leaf, debuted last week, uses cheaper material, namely nickel and cobalt, that could be scaled up in manufacturing. Lead researcher Daniel Nocera isn't shy about what it would mean to start using water as fuel. He made some bold claims about his research at a talk at PopTech more than a year ago. All right, so here's your message of hope. All right, I'm, I'm serious. That pool, if I took it to hydrogen and oxygen per second globally, you know how much energy I get that I can store? 43 terawatts. The bottom line is I'm talking about solving the energy problem with an Olympic-sized pool of water. The technology hasn't been peer-reviewed just yet, but that didn't stop the CEO of India's Tata Group from signing Nocera up to build a commercial product in the next 18 months. LiveMint reports the company plans to use Nocera's technology to cheaply power the third world. Tata's hope is that Nocera's personalized energy can produce a standalone mini power plant, perhaps a refrigerator-sized box, that could reinvent rural electricity supply and bring power to about 3 billion people worldwide who don't have it. So, do the claims around the artificial leaf sound too good to be true? Or is solar finally the king of electricity? Share your thoughts in our comments section. I'm Chance Seals for Newsy.com. Multiple sources, the real story.